Hey, but yo, I was playing a, a contact mission a second ago, and I was looking at this uh, street right here. I'm on Little Bighorn, Little Bighorn Avenue, right? I said, uh, man, <laughs> this would be a dope spot for a uh, little Tales from the Hood movie. Cause I'm coming down here running from the uh, police on the game and stuff. And I'm like, dad. It's a nice little street to have a, uh, to film a possible movie on. And I'm looking at this uh, warehouse right here. So I might do like a little Tales from the Hood, a uh, skit Tales from the Hood movie here. See they got loading docks here. With the little warehouse. This is uh West Street. It's in Rancho, I guess it's a little big horn. Coming off cars. I was like, yeah, this is a dope little spot to do a movie. But really, this a 90s life video. reason I came back to doing a uh, 90s life video is I was getting some uh, emails about the uh, Jordans being released man they got some five Jordans coming out too They got five J's coming out, man. We was talking about, uh, I was looking at the Utility 12s. Man, the Utility 12s is classic, yo. I'm telling you, mark my word. Them is going to be one of the best, uh, joys to ever been released. That colorway is so dope, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Even though, like I said, I stick to my uh, word. I was thinking that uh, ain't no new. I was saying ain't no new marks really gonna ever be uh, as good as no old marks. But I'm sticking with them 29s, the best ones I've ever seen, man. 29s. It's the best ones I've ever seen. But I put the sixes and the eights, in my opinion. Six, eights. It's gonna always be the, uh, two the best. But, since I'm on the topic of J's, I said, oh my God, did you see them, uh, all white? Jordan ones, bro. Now that I might have to have the all white Jordan ones is crazy, dog. I ain't seen no J's like that, man. I ain't seen no J's like that. Them is like all white Air Force ones, right? They just like all white Air Force ones, but they Jordans, man. I see, oh my God. But, see the reason, I'm from, I'm from Chicago. I went to high school, junior high in the suburbs of Chicago, right? But the Jordans for us, it's 20 times. Uh, more sentimental value to to us 
but I'm going to explain why and how other people can relate to what we seeing because when I used to when I went to college down south at the HBCUs you know most of the HBCUs they all in the south you know what I'm saying except for how you know Howard on you know Howard in DC with everything under Howard you know what I'm saying for the most part I think maybe uh Delaware State Delaware State and Howard is the most northern HBCUs but uh the South was will rock with Barkley hard. The South rock with Barkley the way uh Chicago rock with, with Jordan. But title towns, because all professional sports are divided up into cities, right? That's what makes cities something, you know. So uh like LA, LA is a title town, Boston is a title town. Uh, because you know Magic, Kareem, the Lakers, they always been winning championships, you know what I'm saying? Kareem, then Kobe, and Shaq came over there and won some more. So LA and Sh Chicago is like LA was. Detroit, you know, they had the bad boys, Isaiah, Aguirre, Dumas, and them. And uh, Boston, you know, they had uh, Russell, Albert, uh, Red Albert all the time. Uh, Bird, Ainge, you know what I'm saying? All them boys. Walton. So Boston. And then they got Garnett, Ray Allen, and uh Paul. And then you know LeBron made Miami, Cleveland, and uh LA again title towns. Cause you looking at uh D Wade, LeBron right. So like like if you could remember Kobe, Kobe Everybody know how good Kobe Bryant is, right? Straight out of high school, straight to the NBA out of high school. But you remember when Kobe first came out and he had, uh, and he was with Adidas and he had like feet. Jordan was in 19, 1984, Jordan was a rookie out of uh, North Carolina. But then his shoe, his shoe came out not, not long after that. And his logo, the logo was a wing. Remember the the ones all got the wings. After that, it went to Nike, Nike Air, Air. Now Air on everything, cause of Jordan. You know what I'm saying? But remember Kobe had, remember Kobe had Adidas contract before he went over to uh, Nike with Hyper Dunks and stuff. Remember Kobe was all Adidas out at first. So you you see how cold no more uh, Adidas was for Kobe LA LA no stuff like LA feel this way and uh shit but this is the way Chicago see Jewel ones but dog 1980s late 80s uh before Ju before Jordans came out in different colorways. It was no retros, mind you. No retros, no different colorways. Jordans came out red and black. They was black or they was white. You know what I'm saying? Remember, one with the wing, red, black. Two had the, uh, two had the, like, the, uh, they started coming out with, like, the camouflage lepers on it, you know what I'm saying? Coming out with the camouflage lepers on the lepers, uh, print on the side with the uh, two uh, two holes on the, at the top, you know what I'm saying? Not not on the tongue, but on the side when you're coming up with the with the different type of with, uh, the way you had to lace up your jewels, you know what I'm saying? Then they start coming out. Remember they start coming out with the with the uh. Remember the foes like had the big, came with the big Nike uh, block on the side. Remember they started coming with little accessories to Jordans, and people started putting shoe different shoe strings in them. But photo fives came out. Everything was red, black, and white, white or black, much. You know what I'm saying? The colorways weren't coming, but you remember the purple. He started coming out with purple, like purple fives. Then they come out with like some purple uh, sixes and some purple uh, eights, right? 
Remember he started coming out with purple and black on him. That's when the different colors start coming into Jay's. I don't remember seeing uh people with different colored J's, Joe. Because I ain't gonna lie, my first pair was like, my first pair was went to 98. I was only a baby. I was only about three in 84. 84, I was three years old. But 85, I mean, Chicago was lit. In 1985, the Bears won. I had Walter Payton, you know what I'm saying? I had Jordan, Andre Dawson, Sandberg, Grace. You know what I'm saying? Sosa was on the was on the White Sox back in the late uh, 80s, not early 90s. Sammy Sosa used to play on the White Sox, yo. He looked just like Easy E. <laughs> Jerry Curl and everything on the White Sox joke. No no joke. Chicago was lit. I grew up on 79th Street, right? As till I moved till I got to third grade, you know what I'm saying? I was all I used to ride the bus and stuff. But mind you, mind you now. Box Chevys, you remember all everything was box, late 80s, all the cars was box. Except for Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile was coming out with kind of uh Oldsmobile like the 98 Delta 88s they were starting to come out a little more aerodynamic but remember Delta 88 remember 87 98 87 88 Delta 88s and stuff they was coming out with the pointy uh front front ends right but the box Delta 88s like 85 you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oldsmobile, Cuddies, the Cuddies, the MCs, of course, Caprice. Because you remember, the, uh, remember detective cars in the 80s were box, box Chevy Caprice. The detectives, detectives had the box Chevy Caprice, and and the uh, and the patrol had box Chevy Caprice. Check a flag. Red six, you know what I'm saying? And uh But I used to ride the bus and the train because of my grandmother she had cars. My mama she ain't had no car right. So I ride if, if I ride with my grandma, you know what I'm saying? I'd be in the car. But I used to ride the bus and the train, heavy 79th Street. And you know that's kicking it to that's riding red line. Forest City Evergreen, you know what I'm saying? Kicking it to the mall when Moss was gang banging. Jail Jewel once came out. Moss was still gang banging. Sounds, think about it. People weren't really putting sounds and rims in their car in the 80s. It was only they was they was they was uh had boom boxes and tapes, right? Cause they was really come switching over from eight tracks to tapes. Right. So they weren't putting sounds and, and rims on their car to the really like the nineties, yo. Like from five point came out. They started putting sound systems in their cars, start coming out with C D players, people wanted C D changes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Not not to dwell on that too much, but Jordan Jordan trend when Jordan came when his shoe when the ones came out the whole fashion industry changed so the fashion industry wasn't really everybody now don't get me wrong people had everybody still had their lottos at least uh Sacconis Diodorus uh you know what I'm saying Tim's People weren't rocking Tim's like that. People was rocking, uh, people started rocking Jodeci boots. Remember, everybody wanted to get the Jodeci boots airbrushed in the 90s, right? When the Jodeci came out, people wanted to get their stuff airbrushed. But you remember the first star of the coast. When the Jays came out, then the Jays started coming out different colors. True, true enough, people had Cordet, Cortez. And Run DMC had people rocking uh, Adidas, right? 
all day long adidas jumpsuits and people's rocking medallions people's in the afro centuries you know what i'm saying rocking medallions uh listening to uh bdp pe uh diggable planets dies effects stuff like that and so it was still people's afrocentric and stuff and you'll see people you'll see you'll be on the train and stuff chicago a lot of moves black movement you'll see it selling uh final calls and stuff so people were selling medallions and stuff on the train but but remember jay's one only red black black and white black and white but uh remember the purple mice came out but you remember that's when like remember cross colors use damage dakota uh Cornichi, all them fashions started coming out early 90s then people was uh people was always rocking all stars and stuff right Remember all remember that's when people start really rocking colored jeans. Sassoons was out and stuff. People was messing with the stone wash. Remember he was talking about ever since honeys was rocking Sassoons. That's true. Everybody was messing with that back way, way back in the eighties. Lee Levi's Red Tab 501. Them, them always been out. And uh But you remember Dakota star coming out with Remember they had the uh the cowboy uh jeans with the purple they was black and white with the uh cow print. You know what I'm saying? He's coming out with tiger stripe and stuff, then cross color style dropping. And then the, uh remember the Af remember the Afrocentric uh type stuff, Latifah and all them. And rocking medallions, then they start coming out where you see uh the HBCU sweaters and, and t shirts and stuff that uh Bill Cosby was rocking. Then Martin, Martin was wearing them in all his shows too, right? But that's but the Jays revolutionized the Jordan ones, really like the fives. Jordan Nike Air. He, Jordan made Nike Air. Nike was just Nike. Then it became Nike Air, and then you had Flight. But Jordan revolutionized all that stuff. Jordan brand, uh, before Jordan had, before Jordan was his own brand, it was they was Nikes. But all that revolved around Jordan revolutionizing the fashion industry. But all them clothes that came out when cross color started coming out with, with uh, blue pants and purple pants, yellow brown pants, and then. But people was wearing overalls. Now, now people had different color overalls back in the day. Like you look at uh, LL, uh, Salt and Pepper, new videos. Uh, you know, Heavy D, he be rocking different color stuff. But he'll be wearing dress clothes. He'll be dancing, doing something new and Running man, some dress clothes. Cabbage Pat Roger Rabbit and so you know what I'm saying? Some dress clothes. But uh, all that stuff revolutionized fashion, Joe. Uh, revolving around them, uh, them Jordans and stuff, but them, them white Jordan ones, them boys is crazy, yo. I'm looking at them like this is like the new Air Force One, you know what I'm saying? And then the white ones, I was like, oh, they dropped the white ones the other day, but I'm looking at the 12, the 12's hard, the utility 12's, it's hard, they got a bunch of them. Got a whole bunch of them coming out though, but uh, yeah, basically when it comes to that fashion, that's how that stuff was. Then like, you'll be on, I'll be on bus train. It'll be gang bang for the sounds, for the sounds and the rims. They start putting D's on stuff. You know, you said people had low rides and stuff back in the day, before they uh. Seven, like seven folds, seven, uh, six sevens, stuff like that. Uh, uh, four, four twos and stuff like that back in the day. Four, uh, and then, but you remember Cuddy, okay, Regals, Cuddy's, Monte Carlo's, uh, Grand Nationals. You know what I'm saying? Chevy Caprice, all of them were square body. Then you remember uh, 9-8 Brohams and stuff came out 
Delta came out aerodynamic, semi-aerodynamic, right? But you look at uh something like uh remember Cutlass, Oldmobile Cutlass went from you know they had Cutlass Supreme, Cutlass Sierra, right? And then they had uh, Oldsmobile Regal. Then they had uh no no they had a uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass, Cutlass Supreme, which came from the 442 to the box. And then it went to remember the uh the nine the evolution was like it went to nine uh 92 cutlasses right remember the 92 they started rounding them off like 93 remember that then chicago had a in the chicago area they had the cutty club and man the uh people was pushing them new cutlass supremes and they rounded off cutlass sierras when they went from the square body cutties to the uh rounded uh front end cutties like back around the time no limit came out right around uh not ice cream man but like more like ghetto d when uh when uh when the new cutties came out because if you look everybody everybody buying something everybody everybody pushing something generation to generation people pushing something now everybody pushing challenges charges things the youngsters these days right we's pushing box chevys cutties but uh nine about nine 5.0s right 5.0 mustang mustang used to be like carol the carol shelby design was how it was in like 60s 50s uh then it went 70s then it went to the 5.0 design right remember the uh, 5.0 nice design he's talking about uh they changed that 5.0 design twice before they went back to the carol shelby style uh mustangs which was like bruh it was such a big it's such a big deal that's overlooked the uh, evolution from generation like it, how it went from the boom baby boomers to generation X to millennials to you know the uh, next all that the way the cars change too is a big deal but they don't they don't talk about it but it's kind it's kind of big it's overlooked though 